as far as acting goes, I know uh, COVID is is kind of crazy right now, but I I think I actually have a role for you right now if you if you're interested. Oh, what role would that be? We're both in college. Yeah. Um, I am Chase. I don't really need to get a job uh, after college, and um, I could easily live off of like 150 bucks a week. So, your role, Moses, is you are a female. Um, you are Indian, like you are, um, you're my girlfriend. Um, you've always been worried about my career as a musician. Um, we've been dating for about a year. Um, and at this point in our relationship, we're sitting in a car and you finally tell me that, uh, you don't love me anymore and go. Hey babe. So. So Moses has never seen an episode of this. He's seen a little bit. He's seen bits and pieces. I've seen your Instagram, like he's seen the Instagram posts. previews. Are you doing this and yeah, 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 that. yeah. That wow, Moses just roasted my faces. I mean, I do. it's it's a roastable face. <laughs> it is for sure. <laughs> no, everyone does. Everyone thinks that I'm either pooping or I. I thought pain. you were pooping or at least pooting a couple of times. Yeah, I do. I do. I do poo sometimes when I while you're play. playing. Yeah, I yeah, mean, because yeah, yeah. you're moving so much, it's just natural. Of course, it like is natural. Lift a butt cheek or two up. I have. Go. I have pooped before playing the. Drums. Yeah, pooped. Yeah. Oh wow! But uh, let's talk about that. That's a different story for a different time. <laughs> so, do you know about this? I don't think so. Oh, you wow. know about it. Wait, there's more than one? I pooped myself multiple times. Too many times. All right. Let's uh, do a little housekeeping real quick. All right. Uh, Guys, let's subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate all the support and love. Um, So today I released a podcast where I quit. I quit the podcast. Um, why am I here right now? I'm sorry. Um, thank you, Moses. I did not quit. Glad you're back. Thanks, man. <laughs> We're back, baby. We're back. <laughs> I ain't quitting. Um, but I did quit um, today. But I didn't. Um, when I released that podcast today, I did realize something. And I realized people love to watch Failure? A pl- failure. Mm. Exactly. They love to watch a plane crash. Why do you say that? I have evidence. Okay. So all my podcasts have gotten, so let's say every two weeks, let's just use YouTube, for example, okay. have gotten on average maybe 65 views a week. Okay. That's terrible. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I know why you quit now. That that is true, Moses, and that is a hard pill to swallow. So I appreciate that. It's okay. That uh, thank all, you for shoving that. that pill down my throat, though. That's why I'm here. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sixty five views. Okay, uh, we know we all know that that's terrible. Is that your grandma? It's not my grandma on Facebook. Okay. Anyways, the, (laughs) the, the, the podcast that I released today that is, has been out for six hours, usually a week or two, it takes 65 views. Mm -hmm. I've gotten like 70 views. What? Because people, people saw that I said, Chase is quitting the podcast and they were like, oh, I Definitely want to see Chase cry on camera (laughs) and see him quit what he started and be a failure. So, yeah, people want to see people want to see failure. They want to see a train wreck. Yeah. And I'm not that. 
Um, honestly, getting that type of response makes me want to quit again on this episode. You know what I mean? Well, like, I'm glad you're here <laughs> somewhat. I, I appreciate that. And I think I'll probably just quit again to see if I can get the same amount of views, but we'll see. Yeah, it's quit weekly. Yeah, 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 yeah. To get the views. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've had multiple people reach out to me and say, why are you quitting? Why are you quitting the podcast? I really enjoyed it. And then I'm like, hey, how about you watch the podcast <laughs> before, before you say that, before you ask how I quit? Yeah. It's clickbait, people. OK. Um, OK, so I have a couple comments. I do this thing now to where I do like negative and positive feedback. So like if anybody posts anything negative i'll read it anything positive i'll read it <laughs> uh not a lot of negative i did have somebody freaking try and light me on fire today what wait what i'll read it in a second all right rachel boys uh <laughs> accused me of clickbait um you're right rachel i don't know what you're talking about i really <laughs> don't know what you're talking about clickbait <laughs> that's not a thing rachel come no. on come on rachel that's not a thing no Thank you. 2021. Thank you. Um, All right. This is the person that tried to light me on fire. Ooh. All right. What's her name? Okay. So her name is Terry. And Terry, I love you. And she's been a family friend forever. Uh, But Terry, this is what Terry said. She said, question, do you really know that Mark McGrath really messaged you? Could it have been a ghost writer? Terry, in short, no. It's not a ghostwriter. It was actually Mark McGrath. Um, <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up. Also, when are you going to pay us for listening to these podcasts? It's <laughs> a good question. I'm waiting to. This is the one that really fired me up. Terry, I love you. I love you. I love you. But good God almighty, I don't want you listening to this. <laughs> I still love you, Terry, whoever you are. Terry, me and Moses both love you, but I couldn't care less if you listened to this podcast. (laughs) And you know what? I could have waited so much harder and roasted you, um, but I'm going to leave it at that. Wait, can we roast Terry? I don't even know. Is Terry a man or a woman? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Moses, I can't say, but I love you, dude. We'll we can't say out. what you are on on this. Yeah, this is a non-binary uh, podcast. I'll find out later, though. Yeah. And um, she says, and finally, your mama needs to take you out to the woodshed for, for dishing her like that. Um, I can roast my mom any way I want. Um, I don't even know what the, what you're talking about with the woodshed. Uh, to to beat me with a switch like they did in the 1800s. Is this from Terry again? Yeah, this is still from Terry. Terry, how much did you write on this? YouTube That's what I'm comment? saying. She tried to light me on fire, and I will freaking torch you, Terry. I'm going to have to report her. Please do, actually. Go on my Facebook, report her to Mark for Zuckerberg. T- terroristic acts. All right. She was reported. But, Terry, we do love you, and we, we appreciate you We love watching. you still. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here's the intro. All right, Moses, you have to imagine that there is um, intense music playing behind me. Okay. Okay. And um, also, you can't talk during this intro. Okay. Here we go. I run out these intros. I work on them. I really do. All right. Everybody knows him. (laughs) He knows everyone. Women want him. And men probably want him too. My guest today may be the first person on this podcast that has a six pack abs. After writing this, I did realize Jonathan was on the podcast and he definitely has abs. So Moses may be the second person with abs. Uh, do you have abs? I have a, a pack. Okay. 
He does not have abs. Like one pack. Okay. He has a ab. I consolidate. Like myself. I re- So when I did write that, though, I really did think that you had abs. I mean, I might. I just don't, like, it depends, like, if I eat Taco Bell or not. Dude, right that is, I can't relate hard enough, honestly. If I eat, like, bad on the weekend, I feel like I'm morbidly obese sometimes when I when I eat. <laughs> exactly. So it's like either I eat bad on the weekend and I'm morb- morbidly obese, or I eat grilled chicken on the weekend and I have six-pack abs. True. It's one or the other. Anyways. He is an... That's my spot. Okay, here we go. He he is an actor. He is a tennis coach. He has two college degrees. Is it one college degree? Two high school? One high school? Wait, what? Is it two college degrees? Yeah. Uh, wow. I have two pieces of paper there, really. Two expensive. pieces of paper that represent two college degrees. <laughs> Quote. We can go into more detail about those things on the podcast. Uh, leave them wanting more, says Moses from a text earlier today. That's what I said. He volunteers his time teaching children with Down syndrome. Well, at least acted like a special needs teacher in a commercial I watched with him in it. <laughs> Wait, what commercial is this and why wasn't I paid for it? You were paid for it. You just don't know the commercial I'm talking about. I'll show you later. Special needs children. That was definitely one with Down syndrome. That you died. Was it with uh, Spencer? Nope. Oh. Okay, we'll talk about it later. All right, here we go. Oh, I remember. We- <laughs> now you know the one. I remember. Yeah, I was a teacher. You were I was a tutor. <laughs> After school tutor, to be exact. Yes. Yes. Well, he. He at least acts like he's volunteering his time to tutor people with Down syndrome. All right, here we go. He's a dog dad to a big old husky that he probs and just uses to pick up chicks. Is that true? I mean... It helps, though, right? I've tried, but it's mostly, like, women over the age of 72. Yeah, maybe you should get rid of that dog. But, yeah, maybe I should. Okay. Um, if Atlanta had a prom, he'd be the king. It's Moses Doss. Thanks, guys, for the intro. That was a great intro. I appreciate that. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. I appreciate you thanking my intro. That was Oscar worthy again. Wow. I'm feeling really good tonight. (laughs) Thank you. Okay. So, Moses, my first question is um, How are you so likable? And what can I do to be as likable as you are and to have people like me like they like you? Well, the first step is to uh, get a shirt like I do, which you have now. So that's, I'm trying. That's step number one. Thank so you. kudos to that. Thank you. Step number two is being brown. So you already failed at step number two. Yeah, I don't know how I can pull that off. I'm sorry, but you just can't be as likable anymore. So you're just going to be like, you so, have to quit again. So the thing is, like, realistically, I could attain that, but I, mean, I would be done forever. Yeah, you, know you just mean? would be probably canceled. And ter- sure. Terry would probably come and <laughs> take you to the woodshed again for for other things this time. Yeah, Terry would light me on fire actually that time and put me in the ground to where I can to where I would actually quit the podcast because you're brown. <laughs> Because I am a white man acting like I'm brown. I can see that. <laughs> Shout out to Terry for that. All right. So anyways, um, I have to be um, wearing a cool shirt and be brown. What's the third thing? Well, we can scratch number two since that's <laughs> unattainable. Um, I don't know. But just... for real though, how do you how do you know everyone on the planet like there are some people to where I'm like, I'm talking to you and I'm like, yeah, there's this guy that I did this thing with. And you're like, who is it? And I'm like, it's so-and-so. And you're like, oh yeah, I know him from his brother th- six years ago. <laughs> and I'm like, of course you do. I mean, we come from like the same area, same circles. 
So eventually they kind of overlap. Eventually, I know, but nobody knows the amount of people that you know. I mean, growing up, I just kind of like got to meet a lot of people through like churches and like band and like other friends. So yeah. I just kind of, yeah, I just kind of met a lot of people. I, feel I, don't, like I, don't, I don't understand how it did. Like I, I feel like you're lying to me. I feel like there's some sort of secret. Was there like I don't know. I don't think there was a conference that I met all these people at. And yeah, was, I feel like there was a conference, and it was the Moses Conference, and everybody well, was like, "I didn't get paid for it." <laughs> I need to get <laughs> and yeah, everybody showed up, and they were like, "We're gonna meet Moses." Yeah. and then yeah. they stopped talking to me right after that. <laughs> well, that's sad, and that it doesn't look like that. I feel like every time I meet somebody. I get close. I I like. I'm really good at uh, relating to them and mm -hmm. being close to them. And then I'm like, "Hey, I'm never gonna talk to you again. I love you." And then <laughs> and then they leave. And then um and then we never talk again. But I do know them. Do you know what I mean? Do you keep in touch with people? I guess that's what I'm saying. I mean, I keep in touch with a lot of people, but I mean, these days it's kind of hard to. To hang out with people on the reg, so that is true. But I mean, I would love to see a lot of old faces back in person. Yeah, people that showed up to the conference and stuff. Yeah, if you showed up to the conference, hit me up. Yeah, so you can pay me. Yeah, but uh, yeah, you didn't even get paid. Yeah, bro. yeah, shoot me a Venmo or something. Of course, cash out. Okay, so my second question is: um, You aren't people love you. You are an actor. Right wait, wait, wait. I don't know if people love me. I might know a lot of people, but there might be some people that hate me that I don't know of. That if you hate Moses, please comment. Below. Yeah, comment below if you hate me, and then I would love to see that. And then the second podcast me and Moses do, we'll address those. We'll hate address comments. the hate comments. Yeah, I and then I'm that. gonna find you and kill you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Scratch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my second question is: This is a light question. Um, you are a actor as well as a, a tennis coach. Um, yeah. Again, light question. Have you ever um, pooped your pants um, on a tennis court or, or on a, on a movie set? I haven't yet. Um, I probably, I've pooted P O O T E D. Dude, I love the word pooted. I do love the, the word way. pooted. It's I'm, an underused word. That I needs love, to, like, we used to use it as kids, but I love the fact that it, you're bringing it, it never back. Can, yeah, I want to bring it back. Yeah, yeah, pooted. It's undervalued. It is. I think so. Okay, so you pooted I mean, where? I, I mean, I pooed on the daily. It's just like, of part, course. It's part of life. Everybody poops. Part of COVID life. Yeah. Um, you just got to do it to do it. Because if you don't, COVID then poops. you'll just like keep it in and you'll just like blow up one day into <laughs> one big poop and. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants a big old poop. Nobody man. wants one. You got to like break it up like in sixteenths. It's true. Usually yeah. per day. Yeah, that is a a, a, a musical measurement. Yeah, so usually like a few like during your sleep, you just don't know. It. I'm sometimes it wakes you up. You have you ever been woken up by a poop? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know that's a great question. Or right, your significant other has woken you up. By their poots, you know, just <clears throat> that's Jess? a great question for you because I, I definitely uh, poot. No, 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 no. I I've never been. No. I mean, I'm sure, but not that I can. Okay, so I'll, I'll definitely say that I I poot in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. but um, <laughs> I love the word poot. Yeah. But um, I don't know if I've woken myself up from a poot. I think I have. You have? Yeah, I'm just like. And I'm like, uh, like huh? <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I'm pretty sure I have, yeah. but you know, that's impressive. I mean, I, I'm impressed and kind of mad at myself because yeah. I, was, I was probably dreaming of something, something nice. Good. Yeah. And then the poop. Woke yeah. You up. It kind of woke me up and then I try to like catch that dream yes. again. And yes. it's so hard. That's true. Have you ever tried to catch the dream when you wake up? I've had great dreams and you wake up and you're like, oh. But you win a million dollars and yeah. then you wake up and then you check your bank account and you're like, oh. It's not that. I'm broke. Yeah. Um. So have you pooted on the set or on a tennis court to what oh, people could hear? To hear? I'll, I don't know if they heard me. If they did, then they haven't told me or they told management or HR. Yeah. And I haven't heard would, back from them yet. 
That would be funny if HR sat down with you and like, hey, Moses. <laughs> like, sir, I'm going to talk about something. <laughs> <laughs> Your poots have been making a disturbance. <laughs> Really affecting the staff around here. I think they would give me a second chance, <laughs> depending on the poot level. I think they would. Yeah. Okay. I I know you guys are wondering why is Moses here? Why am I here? I'll, why am I here? Thank you for asking, Moses. He's n- he's no musician, or is he? We'll Hurt. we'll get into that later because I think that I found. Something that make make him a, a musician. Wait and see. Okay, but the whole premise of, of this podcast is do a cover with me. I play drums, you play something else. Then we'll do a podcast about it. What is Moses doing? At this point, you've already seen it. He's using his hands. Exactly. Both you see, of them. you saw those things. That's you saw my, them. That's my loophole. Okay, I might have somebody come on here and play kazoo. I might have somebody play tambourine. Oh, I had a tambourine. Dang it! You know that your hands are talented, though, and don't. Thank you. Don't. That's the nicest thing anybody has said. Thanks. I should man. put that on a dating app. My hands. Right? <laughs> I. <laughs> yeah, I think you should. I think maybe you I'll should. get more matches. <laughs> I bet you would. Okay. <laughs> right now I have zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's the loophole. So what kind of gear did you use for this? Um, Just in case anybody wants to know there to, uh, you know, see what you use. So this is really expensive gear yeah. that you can only yeah. get in one spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's not guitar. Uh-huh. Um, what's that place called? Guitar Center? Yeah, you can't find it at Guitar Center? Yeah, you can't get it at Guitar Center, but I mean, you can get them in hospitals all around the world. Hospitals? Really? I mean, maybe. A a pair of them? Maybe one. Wow. Just laying around sometimes. Okay. But these. Really? Yeah. Just a pair of hands. So yeah, um, these are my instruments of life. Okay. Instruments of good and bad. Well, yeah, that is true. The hands, uh, idle hands are the breeding grounds for the devil, right? That's what they say. <laughs> Do they? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Do they breed the devil? <laughs> yeah, they can. Um, so let me just say that your hands on this cover sound great. Thank you. They Thank sound you. really, really good. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. It means cl- a lot. Your claps are perfect. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'll, I'll wait. Exactly. Yeah, you gotta you gotta let them watch it. Yeah. Watch if you it. guys haven't watched it yet, please watch it. So first of all, I want to know kind of what got you into acting. Okay. Um. So I graduated college in 2012. Yeah. Um. I was gonna go back to grad school, but I had to wait a year because I was gonna be the assistant tennis coach at my college, but I had to wait a year for the other tennis coach to graduate Mm -hmm. because she was a grad assistant. So I was going to be a grad assistant. So in the meantime, I got it. My dad got me a job at state farm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I worked there for like seven, eight months. Um, yeah, I hated it. Long story short. <laughs> Did like people call in and uh say I wrecked my car? I mean, you're just like a state farm, any insurance company, you're the always the bad guy. Mm. I mean, you rarely got like nice comments. But uh I mean, some people came in that are nice, but most of the time they just wanted their money or just they wanted more. And you were always a bad guy. So, I mean, it kind of wears on you as you would yes, know. Yes, I as would. You would know. So, yeah. So, State Farm was not the move. I mean, it was good money for the time being, but money, I'm not money driven. I'm more yeah. uh, passion driven, which is why I do what I do. So, about eight months in, I saw like an extra post for the Hunger Games catching fire that was filming here at the time. I was like, oh man, I really want to be in the Hunger Games, blah, 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 blah. So I just like submitted myself and then I got into it. Um, I got it. So, and then um, I think from, I went on the set, it was probably the biggest set I've been on since. It was a huge production. I mean, like millions and millions, I think it was like two or $300 million budget, probably more film. Um, 
And then what? Uh, was was it at? Was it at Atlanta Beach in Stockbridge? I think there was some at the Atlanta Beach, but my scenes were at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Oh, so if you see the, uh, so you were like, you wait, were, let me um change this up real quick. Did you good? I'm <laughs> so, sorry about the sorry. mic. Guys, the mic, my mic droops down. Moses's mic droops down. It's a drooper. Yeah. It's a sagger. All right, let's see. Okay. That that looks better. Okay, so you guys were racing uh, uh, NASCAR cars on Hunger Games. We were racing NASCARs. Like Dale Earnhardt was yeah. there. Um, <laughs> yeah. Jeff Gordon. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> No, no, no. Um, <laughs> it was the uh, chariot scene. If you, yeah, if you actually, watched yeah. the Hunger Games: Catch and Fire, where she like comes down with all the chariots and yeah. all the other, and she's uh, wearing like some flaming dress. Yeah, or something. all the other districts are like going through the crowd. So yeah. like we were in one of those scenes where we were like cheering Katniss on, <clears throat> and then there's another scene where like um, her and Finnick were like talking, and we were like on the top of like the arena and you we see her like and we were like hey Katniss blah 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 so do we uh so if I were to watch that back could I um, pause and there's like you? a little blur that you can barely <laughs> tell I mean not really I mean you're an extra you're kind of a a, a blur that's, yeah. that's what you get paid for just like background noise but I mean it was a fun experience because I mean I've never like done anything like that yeah. it was just like Atlanta was still like pretty new with like film yep. um it was just like oh cool i'm like with uh on the hunger games yeah of course just like yeah i mean it's a big it was a huge movie looking back at it because yeah there's not many i mean there's a lot of movies here filmed like all the marvel movies are yep. around that budget but i mean it's a huge film but i mean i just got hooked it was yeah, just it, like wow this gave is, you the itch yeah i was like yeah. wow this is actually i'm getting paid to do this on camera mm-hmm. i mean I, that wasn't acting of course but i mean it was just like a little glimpse of like yep. watching other actors do what they do mm-hmm. i'm like wow this is actually really really cool um i wonder if like i could do this yeah um so yeah i just so, so did you start taking like acting classes or anything like that yeah so after that um well after that i i did extra stuff like for a while i did like Hunger Games and like scary movie, um, Vampire Diaries, originals, like random stuff like that. I went back to school, like college, to get my master's. Um, while that happened, I didn't do much acting because I was in North Georgia. Mm-hmm. Um, what did, did you get your master's in? Uh, master's in business, so just my MBA. So nice. It was just uh, yeah, I got my four year degree in uh, business too. So. G, are you using it? <laughs> no. Yeah, ne- no. neither am I. Neither am, neither am I. So, yeah. So I just wanted to relate to you. you that was it. You related to me. Okay, good. <laughs> I felt related. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah, I got my two-year degree from there. Yeah. Um, I got back from there, and um, I had a job lined up at Porsche, the headquarters. Yeah. Because I wasn't thinking about acting. I was just like, let me just... I can't do job. acting. Yeah. Like I'm just gonna do a typical business job. Yeah. Like what society wants me to do. Yeah. Um, I had it lined up. I had a couple interviews. Um, last minute they canceled the job. They gave it to a vendor. Um, I was mad because I was like, they strung me along. Like, oh, yeah. you're gonna get this job. Blah blah blah. Um, so I was mad for a little bit, but then I was like, I don't need to do a nine to five. Like mm-hmm. I'm not gonna be. I'm not going to be fulfilled like in yeah, life and happy. I'm just, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be happy. So I was like, let me just see if acting, let me just try it out. Let yeah. me just take it serious. So I took it. So before that I didn't take it serious. I, but then like after I was like, okay, let me, let me take this serious for a little bit. So the end of 2015, I joined an acting class and I was just like, let me see if I can do this. And yeah, I've just been grinding ever since. That's cool, dude. So, dude, have you have you been in a uh, an acting class that uh, that you hated? Because I've seen some like exercises and classes, um, and they seem a little uncomfortable. 
I mean, yeah, I've sometimes. been. In, yeah, I've been. I've definitely been in classes where I didn't want to be there. Yeah, I don't really like classes that are so formal, like classroom. You know, like school class, which yeah. is some of acting class. But I mean, I like a little bit, a little bit of like informal, like just like kind of like you're just discussing with people and just talking. Yeah, but what if they're what if they're like a group in a circle and they're like five things to say, five things to say. And then I'm like, five, bye, bye, five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not really for me. You know um, what I mean, though? Yeah. I yeah. mean, a lot, there's some classes that are super cheesy. Yeah. And then there's some classes that are like super intense and real and like get you better. So you just have to kind of like weed out the bad out. to the good ones. And that's just like talking to people word of mouth and your experience. So yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so do you feel like those classes helped at all? Uh, I mean, every class, I think, helps a little bit. It just, even if it's bad, it just shows you, like, what you don't need yeah, and what you actually are looking for and what you, what what's going to make you better and improve yeah. your acting-wise and who ne- who you need to be around. That makes sense. So yeah. I think it, I think it all helps just experience-wise. Moses, um, did you ever, did you ever want to be, or audition to be a part of a reality TV show? No. No? Not, I mean, it, it's just I really, like... I, so me and Jess have been really watching reality TV shows. Yeah. So and trash, so, so trash, so amazing. But I really could see you, like, trying to... What TV show could you see me on, both of you guys? <laughs> Are you the one? Oh yeah, I've seen yes. that. <laughs> you wait. Is are you the one? The is voice that the reason? one? Is that the one with the iPad? You put your hands yeah. on it. Oh yeah, Dude, you the could UK. Be that you that could, could be that. That you could show be on is that. just like one big orgy. <laughs> it, really was. it was like put your hand on here. It so did nothing. <laughs> touching that iPad. I mean, yeah, reality TV. If you're actually doing like. If you're an actor for like TV and film, that's kind of like career suicide. That's what I mean. <laughs> that that's what usually it is. But I mean, these days, reality TV can up your like level. I mean, there's that's a couple true. people who did reality TV shows that did like scripted TV. Like there's a dude, um, I forgot his name. He did Grimm, the TV show, and um, he was on that. Um, I mean, there's a couple of people who use reality TV show to um, do scripted work after. So, I mean, it could happen, but you would also it depends how popular you are on reality TV. If you're really if you're really popular, you're going to be known as that guy on reality TV. Yeah. Would you ever be a part of Bachelor Nation? I mean. I don't think I'm good good looking enough for Bachelor Nation, to be honest. I mean, you have to look like a Barbie doll. Plus, I mean, they're not diverse as... They're pretty much living really in like the 1960s still. I mean... Dude, that's that's true. So they have gotten more black contestants? Yeah, they just it? got a couple you of black... Know, okay, I'll say black women and Asians. And, yeah, the leads have only been mostly white yes. and a few black guys and women. Um, yeah, I think the newest guy, he's black. But even that has been like within the last two or three years. Before that, white people. Like All of them. Yeah, I mean, that's what... 26 seasons of white people. Yeah, that's I mean, they would it. have like an Asian or two. <laughs> one. Yeah, it, yeah it, literally, it would literally be like one or two and they're yes. like, oh, they're not they're not lasting yes. on the show. They're just on the show because of like yeah, the producers a, wanted yes. them on. Yes. But I mean, they need to like, yeah, they, de- they definitely need to put more real people. It's like, I feel like all the people... I've been like 10 years in investing and they they look like a model. Like you need to put like people of all sizes, so like mm-hmm. not just like super like bikini models yeah. or dudes with six pack. Like every guy has a six pack and it's boring. Like boring. who wants to I mean it's cool. I mean you congrats on your face. Yeah. But like what yeah, do you I have want- behind that? So if Marvel came to you and was like Hey Moses, do you want to be um, this? Uh, yes. 
<laughs> would you get juiced up? I would juice. <laughs> He's juicing up right now. I just juiced up. A little. It was a it was a pre juice. You would stick Pre-marble anything juice. in your booty to uh, to make it, to make anything happen, right? Put it in my butt, <laughs> Marvel. Put it in my butt, Marvel. <laughs> oh, that's good. I mean, yeah. you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, dude. I would freaking juice up if Marvel was like, "Hey, Chase, do you want to do this?" I'd be like, "Yeah." Well, if there's like a drummer superhero, <laughs> oh yeah, I'd be like, "Look huge, look muscular, and look be a movie star and play drums." No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Even if somebody was like, "Do you want to get juiced up and just look good?" I mean, I just like juice in general. So when you say juiced up, I'm down. If if anybody doesn't know what I mean by juice, I mean steroids. Also, Minute Maid juice. <laughs> because that's what I like. Drop your favorite that's juices what, below, that's by what the you're way. saying, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where would you draw the line as far as acting go? Um, would you draw the line at... Would you draw the line... <laughs> Excuse God bless me. your soul. Excuse me. Would you would you draw the line at if you had to have a fake sex scene with somebody? I mean, I haven't had a sex scene yet, but I mean, I think I would like play it by ear. Um, if my booty cheeks would have to be on screen, I might have to juice up. Thank you so much for saying that because that was my next question. Um, butt cheeks. Would you be okay with your butt cheeks showing? Um, I think I've been working them out for a while. That yeah. I think I'm proud of my butt cheeks now these days. So um, you'd, you'd be okay if there was like a scene of you exiting a shower and you dropped the towel for, towel for whatever reason and uh, your butt was showing? I mean, I do that regularly but nobody watches me but i i practice um you'd be cool with that it depends on what the project is and <laughs> it depends what the project is to be honest if it's like an indie okay. film yeah so if it's a low level indie film you're like probably not nah. but if it's like gonna if it's for the story if it like contributes to the story my nude if my butt cheeks contribute to the story yeah if it's vital to the plot then yes and also the paycheck they're giving me (laughs) very yeah 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 if those those two things work out then yes okay and and this leads to my third question i feel like uh it would be the same answer that you just said but like a uh a full uh junk nudity uh um (laughs) I haven't seen many movies these days where they do like <laughs> full, full, full. <laughs> this is Chase after dark right now, but uh, Chase left the dark. Okay, um, well, um, um, I don't think I don't think I would do front nudity. So, in do you think? Yeah, do you I don't think, think that I don't think that would contribute to the story <laughs> that I would be interested in. Um, you know, now that you say that, I can't think of a movie that uh, shows a uh, yeah. complete penis. I mean, not a com- maybe like a three fourths penis. So, are there movies though that show a penis though, or no? I mean, there is, there is, but I don't watch them. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, so. When a penis is shown, is it pornography at that point? That is a very great question. I mean, it could be. I mean, it's your natural body. So if it's, it depends like what happens next. That I feel like I've seen a penis in a movie. What what movies though? Hasn't there been a movie to where we've seen a penis? Do y'all watch penis movies together? Is that marriage? <laughs> yeah. Is that marriage? When you get married, you see. Like maybe one penis movie. Maybe. I can't think. Which one? I haven't. I don't remember one in a long time. I don't even know if I remember one. I definitely have seen. We definitely have. There was something we saw recently that had to where we were like, "What the?" Wait, was that a penis? Yeah. 
<laughs> was that a penis? Or is that Chase walking around? <laughs> okay, let's just say we okay we watched a movie we saw a penis okay yeah. just believe us okay I believe would you, you. Sh- would you show a penis if if Marvel if you asked me yeah if Marvel <laughs> hey <laughs> yeah if I just asked you to see your penis no if Marvel was like we'll shoot your penis with steroids you'll be freaking jacked <laughs> no Marvel was like. If you show your penis for the first time on this on the Marvel in the Marvel universe, your penis is going to be the best. I mean, is it a superhero? Yes. 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 We talked about acting. I really enjoyed that. Um, I wanted, you know, as far as acting goes, I know uh, COVID is is kind of crazy right now, but I I think I actually have a role for you right now if you if you're interested. Oh, what role would that be? Would let that- me ex- let me explain it to you. Um, um, I've been trying to cast a a young Indian female, um, uh, but it is 2021 and. Uh, I think we can make a dude work. I think we can make a male work. Uh, the scenario is we're both in college. Yeah. Um, I am Chase. Um, I don't care about... I am myself. Okay. I don't care about a business degree I'm trying to get. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm just here because my dad applied for me. Um, I'm pretty much just going to college, uh, but knowing... Excuse me. Um, I don't really need to get a job uh, after college, and um, I could easily live off of like a hundred fifty bucks a week. So, um, that's 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 my role. Okay. Um, your role, Moses, is you are a female. Um, you are Indian, like you are. Um, okay. you're my girlfriend. Um. You take uh, you take school uh, super very seriously. Um, you've always been worried about my career as a musician. Um, we've been dating for about a year. Um, okay. And at this point in our relationship, we're sitting in a car, and you finally tell me that uh, you don't love me anymore. And go. Hey, babe. So uh, we're about to uh, walk into um, to our friends to our friends party. Are you ready to go? I I, got to tell you something. What's up? Did you forget the nachos? No, the nachos are in the back. Okay, perfect. So what's up? Um, I'm ready and I love you a lot. So. (laughs) So I've been I've been thinking yeah. Um, what are you thinking about? Uh, us. And our future. Um, yeah, and how I'm, I'm going to be a sick drummer and, you know, you'll you'll do your thing as far as whatever you want to do, but I'll be a, a great drummer and I'll be able to provide for our family and stuff. Yeah, about that. Um, yeah. Uh what do you see us in five years? <clears throat> Realistically, I don't really know. I don't really care, honestly. I like, I'm just kind of living life, you know. I got two more years of college. Yeah, I think you have at least six. Um, but I don't know how to say this. Don't take it the wrong way. Yeah, I'm eager to hear, but. I don't love you any more or did no. um hmm. what do you think about this? <laughs> I appreciate you uh, bringing that up to me 
and being honest with me. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, it actually means a lot that you said that. Okay, bye. <laughs> You know what? That's totally fine. Why don't you go do that? And then you come back to me a year from that point, And then you uh, ask me to get back together with you. Oh, okay. And then I'll say no. Scene. Thank you, Moses. Thank you for living out that, that dream, that acting scenario. In case anybody was wondering... That was not a true story. It was based on a true story. Based on a true story. Very, very true story, though. Definitely not true at all, but kind of true. Very true. A little bit true. 100% true. It was really true. (laughs) Very true. It just happened. (laughs) It just happened. (laughs) Oh, man. That was like therapy to me. That felt great. (laughs) <laughs> uh, wow, thank you, Moses. I really felt like I was sitting across from my uh, girlfriend in college. Good. <laughs> should, we, should we shout her out? No? Probably shouldn't mention her name. I think that if she were to listen to this, I think that she would uh, get the point. <laughs> I think that she would know that. Shout that out to a named college woman who dated Chase. That might, that might be about her. I think she might get that. that. about you. <clears throat> Okay, and um, that leads me to deep, dark secrets. I know I just kind of sprung this on you, Moses. Oh, God. But, okay. Um, I would say this is more of a of a life hack mm-hmm. than a secret. Yeah. Um, sometimes when I'm sleeping, I take my boxers or my underwear off. And I've and if I really have to, uh, like, you know this. If if I if I really have to blow my nose, I'll just blow my nose into my boxers. That's a lot of work. Why don't you do it in your shirt? Or like, I don't wear a shirt. I just pillowcase. I wear boxers, and that's it. Pillowcase. Pillowcase sounds even more insane to me, honestly. Wait, have you done this while being married? Yes. And I won't say that I I won't say that I do this uh <laughs> Okay, that's what I'm saying. I I won't say that I do this like every night, but I'm saying like there's sometimes to where that has happened. I would well, say that that's happened. You guys are having a good talk tomorrow. It's <laughs> crazy. And maybe like Five times within a year. Like if I'm really That's like a lot. I don't know if I'm really like my. No, look, like if you're like sick and your nose is running or something. I mean, I, I, I yeah, usually I have tissues nearby. <laughs> I, <don't know>. I <laughs> too. I'm just saying, you know, some random nights your nose is just running and you're just like, uh, I that's, don't. That's, I think you might be the only person. We might have to get you some help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, that's my deep start dark secret is that I sleep naked sometimes and I take off my boxers and I pull it on my nose and then I throw it to the side. I don't Yeah, it's weird. I don't really you know deep dark secrets. Deep dark secrets. I mean, um, let me quirks. I, I'll say okay, quirks. But let me say another one that might spark yeah. a memory. Um one that I've said before um I've kissed a a a, a child when I was a child, um, <laughs> yeah, you gotta start with <laughs> you gotta start with I was a child. People are reporting people people are reporting you right now as they, as they see this. <laughs> when I was a child, <laughs> Terry's watching this. Is about, <laughs> she's reporting you right now. When I was a child, I yeah. kissed a child uh, while she was sleeping. <laughs> And, That's not um, creepy. <laughs> well, Chase, I'm going to call the police on these last two deep, deep dark secrets. <laughs> um, do you have any advice for musicians, producers, actors, uh, voiceover actors, uh, really anybody just in the, uh, the you know, the like, creative industry, yeah, the creative, the arts? Um, 
What I would say is keep educating yourself. Never stop learning. If you're like actor, always stay in a class. I mean, you don't have to be in a class. You could just like watch TV and movies. That's like educating, educating yourself. Like watch your favorite actor, watch a, a movie that's a really good movie. Um, YouTube, yeah. YouTube is a great place to learn about anything. I've learned so many things off of YouTube. You can find. So yeah, I love that. Um, where can uh, where can people find you at? Um, you can find me on my Instagram at Moses Das M O S E S D A S. Um, I'll have like a I'll have a link that you can find me on my other stuff like my IMDb or YouTube channel or things like that on my Instagram. I think Instagram is probably the best way to to get to to you. connect to me. I mean, I have Facebook. You can look me up, but cool. It's more yeah. I'll put an Instagram uh link to you and, below uh, check yeah. out below, check out below. <laughs> like subscribe yeah. follow and um Block. <laughs> yeah <laughs> is there is there anything else you want to plug before we go um plug i mean i want to plug chase low oh, wow thank you on my his, own podcast his podcast i want to plug his own podcast on his podcast <laughs> during his podcast while I we're mean, podcasting yeah, it, it doesn't do much but i appreciate it i mean thank i'm gonna you. plug this onto my own wow instagram that'll do something that means a lot because you know the entire world i mean i know the whole world but the world doesn't know you me. really do that's not true that was you deep. know the world loves you <laughs> that was deep they know you and they love you and you know thank that. you thank you world appreciate it <laughs> thank you moses for being on this yeah um, thank I appreciate you for teaching you. me how to be likable and to be a uh to be a likable person um i think you're a very likable person to be honest i don't know many people who don't like chase do you none none well, I mean, if you don't like Chase, comment below. Yeah, tell us. Terry. <laughs> Please don't. And Terry, if you comment below. <laughs> comment below if you hate Chase. Um, we want to know your thoughts. Why, if you hate him, why do you hate him? Be specific. Be specific. We just don't want, I hate him. And Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be specific. I mean, if it's his hair color, his skin color, if it's his <laughs> pineapple shirt. Things you can help, things you can't help. Yeah. And the and you know we are doing the positive and negative feedback so i have to read every single one of what I, whatever you say so post away uh please be nice nah. yeah or mean all right uh thank you moses yeah thank you guys thank you all right we love you friends in low places Woo!